This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to today's broadcast. Have you ever had a hollow feeling in your heart about the fertility of life? Have you ever wondered why you are here on this earth? Join Kakra in this interview with Reverend Andy Yosen as he gives answers to these burning questions from his latest book, The Invitation. Let's join in. Hello everyone, you're welcome to today's broadcast. I believe that God is going to bless you. Today I have a special guest with me and uh, we're going to discuss my latest book that I wrote titled The Invitation. Make sure that you get your copy. God's going to bless you. Reverend, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. God bless you. Why The Invitation? Well, The Invitation because it actually talks about the call of God. Okay. And you know, the call means invitation. And the most important thing is that once you get to understand the whole purpose of God comprehensively, it helps you to make meaning of life. That's right. Otherwise, naturally speaking, as you are getting older, approaching death, you begin to say, what is life all about? That's right. It is meaningless. So like Solomon, some people may say vanity right. or vanities. So the world itself does not make sense unless it is viewed against the perspective and the background of eternity. So the invitation is to bring meaning to people's life. Yes. And help them to know their purpose. Obviously yes. you're not referring to just those who go into full-time ministry or something. You're talking about the call of God for everyone. Exactly. Okay. You know, like, like you said rightly, when we say the call of God, people's minds just gravitate towards preaching. Exactly. or full-time ministry just like that but um, it's beyond that mm. for you to understand the purpose you just have to go back to why God created man in Genesis 126 God said let us make man in our image and after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea the fowl of the air the cattle and all every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth so the original intent for man was God wanted to make somebody who looked like him. Yes. And once the person looked like him, automatically you have dominion. Right. The day you lose that image, you lose your dominion. Right. The second reason, reason was for fellowship. The reason is that if you don't look like God, you can't fellowship with him. Of course. So for you to fellowship with God, you must have the image of God. But when Adam sinned, he lost these two things. Yes. So, when we say the call of God, it's actually an invitation to take man back to Connect. his original purpose, why God created him. That's right. So, I'll give you an example. If you read Romans chapter 8, verse 28, the Bible says, We know that all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. So, the Bible says, God has invited us yes. to follow a purpose or plan. So, the question is, what is that purpose? 29 says, for whom he did for no, and for no means God knew us in advance. He also did predestinate. So based on what he knows about us in eternity, he arranged the course of our lives. Yes. Then it says, to be conformed to the image of his son. That's it. So we realize that the, 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 the purpose of the call is to look like Jesus. Now, if you, if you look at ministry, Ministry work, that people always relate ministry work to, let's say, the call of God. Yes. Uh, the scripture that is about ministry work is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. Yes. It says, He gave some to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, yes. pastors, teachers. It says, For the perfecting of the saints or maturing of the church members. It says, For the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, which means for the growth of the body of Christ. Now, when the church is growing, then in verse 13, it talks about the purpose. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. In other words, even in terms of ministry, the aim is to take on the fullness of Christ, to look like Jesus. But you know, you, you, you can have even preachers who preach, but they don't, they don't look like Jesus yes. at all. Now, as soon as we do that, what that means is that we have missed the point. Of course. The second part is, 
about it, I talk about a series of steps. Because the call of God is a series of invitations. Okay. So in this book, I, I, I talk about the various invitations. Okay. Well, I think, you know, anyway, what you've said so far, I think it's clear that even if we understand the purpose, just knowing the purpose is really the key yeah. to everything. A lot of the challenges we are having now, from what you say, it's becoming obvious to me, is down to the fact that most of us appear to have lost sight the key purpose. If exactly. we got that right, exactly. we won't have 80% of the challenges we, we have. have. Good point. Because you see, people talk about, let's say, being spiritual. Forgetting that when Adam had the image of God, he was spiritual, spiritual. and yes. was fellowshipping with God. That's right. yeah. Everything was just going yeah. just right. Exactly. So this image is actually connected to every facet exactly. of our life. Exactly. We'll be back for the next segment and um, we'll continue with our with our discussion on the invitation. There's more stuff coming. God's going to bless you. Thanks for joining us. Don't miss tomorrow's episode for the continuation of this exciting interview. You can order this book through the following means. Send an email to info at Call us on WhatsApp or send a WhatsApp message to plus 23 55 700 90 10. That's plus 23 55 700 90 10. You can also place a regular call or send a text to plus 23 20 75 75 215. That's plus 23 20 75 75 215. We also deliver worldwide.